Hello everyone, welcome back to Senior Pablo TV. For today's tutorial video, we will be discussing operations on fractions. We have four basic operations, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We're going to apply those four operations in our operations on fraction. If we have, or let's say, let f and g be any two functions also be h and g or f and h we have for the addition or sum f plus g that is equal to f plus g of x the same as f of x plus g of x and for the difference f minus g so we have quantity f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x. And for the multiplication, to find the product, let's say we have f times g. So we have quantity f times g of x is equal to f of x times g of x. And for the division or to find the quotient of f over g we have f over g of x is equal to f of x all over g of x so to better understand let's have some application we have a given here f of x and g of x for f of x that is equal to x minus 2 and for g of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. We're going to find number 1, number 2, number 3, and number 4. Now, let's start with number 1. Quantity f plus g of x. We know that quantity f plus g of x, that is equal to f of x plus g of x and now substitute f of x that is x minus 2 plus our g of x x squared minus 4x plus 4 okay after substitution, we need to combine like terms. Notice we have x squared. So, just copy x squared. We can combine x and negative 4x. So, x minus 4x, that is negative 3x. Negative 2 plus 4, negative 2 plus 4, that is positive so this will be the value of quantity f plus g of x. Next, number two. Number two, quantity f minus g of x. So that is equal to f of x minus g of x f of x minus g of x substitute f of x is x minus 2 minus x squared minus 4x plus 4 notice that in subtraction we need to write our parentheses because our sign will be changed if we're going to apply the laws of multiplication while in addition notice that it's okay not to write the parentheses now x minus 2 negative times x squared that is negative x squared negative times negative that is positive 4x 
negative times positive, negative 4. So we don't have parentheses anymore. We can now combine like terms. We have x squared, so just copy negative x squared. x plus 4x, that is positive 5x. Negative 2 minus 4, negative 6. This will be our quantity f minus g of x. Number 3, f times g of x. That is equal to f of x times g of x. Substitute f of x, x minus 2 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. This time we need to multiply. So we need to use our FOIL method. So x times x squared. I will write our product here. x times x squared. That will become x cubed. x times negative 4x. Negative 4x squared. x times positive 4x. Positive 4 Next, negative 2 times x squared, that is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 4x, negative times negative, positive. 2 times 4, that is 8, then copy x. Negative 2 times positive 4, negative 8. And now, combine like terms. So we have x cubed, negative 4x squared, minus 2x squared, that is negative 6x squared. 4x plus 8x, that is positive 12x. And for the constant, negative 8, so just copy negative 8. This will be the value of f times g of x. And for our quotient, f over g of x. Okay, that is the same as f of x over g of x. And now substitute. x minus 2 over g of x, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Division. So in our ra uh, rational expression, our technique is find the factors of the given. G of x, the factors of G of x is x minus 2, x minus 2, or that is x minus 2 raised to 2. This is a perfect square trinomial, your previous lesson. So we can write our factor in our denominator, x minus 2. Our factors are x minus 2, x minus 2. And now, cancel similar terms. x minus 2, x minus 2. And our final answer is 1 over x minus 2. That would be the value of quantity f over g of x. That's on how to solve the operations on a function. Now you are ready to answer your modules. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. Kindly share this video to your classmates. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.